Karajan is supposed to have said that the skill of conducting is to make an orchestra do what you want them to do, but at the same time make them think they're doing it all by themselves. The qualities of a great conductor are really very simple. They have to inspire the orchestra to play beyond what every individual person feels as a musician. To prepare so thoroughly in the rehearsal room that by the time the performance comes and they're all on stage together, that the singer has this notion of total freedom and the conductor and the orchestra will be with them all the time. When I was appointed General Director of the COC in 2008, one of the first things I did was hire Johannes as the Music Director. I remember the first time we worked with Johannes was with War and Peace. We had just lost Richard Bradshaw and uh, Johannes came and did War and Peace with us and it was just the perfect antidote to our feelings of, of sadness. It was so obvious that there was a very strong connection between him and the company, not only between him and the orchestra. There was an energy in the theater that was very remarkable. Johannes Debus is a true opera singer's conductor. He really understands how we put a phrase out, that is to say, how much we need to breathe, what time we need to breathe, and kind of how much we want to sort of spin out that phrase. You can't always look at, at a conductor as a colleague. You know, a lot of the times they are the person in power and they're here and we're here, but bless him, he has the most amazing rapport with everyone in the room and he is absolutely a colleague. He is incredibly well prepared. He knows every line of libretto, sometimes I think even better than the singers. He could sing any line in the orchestra in the run of Tristan and Isolde that we did. He was on fire. He would like leap off the podium and have fire in his eyes. And he drew out sounds from the orchestra that I had never heard before, never heard this orchestra make. Johannes comes from this amazing tradition of orchestral academies and mentorship academies in Germany. And they're really committed to mentoring young talent in the context of professional orchestras. Johannes is trying to bring that tradition here. I think it's going to be really, really important for the COC moving forward that we not only train young opera singers, but we also start training a few young orchestra musicians in opera, specifically in opera, every year. It's, it's a very, very special thing, this step from educational world to professional world. And sometimes that step or that gap can be quite a large one. Our opera training in school is, is very minimal. So the chance to, to mentor newcomers and academists, that's really, really amazing. And an amazing chance for the academists. They played Valkyrie this year. They got to do that. My hope is that the Orchestra Academy will grow over the years into kind of the same scope as we experience it with the Ensemble Studio program. What makes Johannes a great colleague is that it's always about the whole production, the whole performance succeeding. Johannes treats us, the ensemble studio singers, like professional singers. He's willing to listen to us and we're willing to listen to him and that's how you make art. Johannes is a really nice guy. He's a lot of fun to work with. He is a remarkable musician. He is a lovely colleague. He's a lovely human being. He gets the singers to really feel the text. And Johannes, of course, is so good at that. He really gets it right.